Hey, how's it going everybody? Uh, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be working on the Skag Cheetah, doing a little maintenance since it's raining out today. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Got to fix some brakes on it because every time we pull it around in the trailer, it starts to roll back in the trailer. So I've done it once before. It's kind of similar to car brakes, um, but we'll have a quick look. It's a 48 inch. Uh, this one... I forget what year this one is. Uh, I think I picked it up in 2015. Anyways, uh, so this is what we're going to be working on today. We're working on getting these out and uh, maybe going to get some parts and replacing them. Next, you're going to want a 21 millimeter socket on a uh, impact. these in a place you'll never forget next release the brake all right next what you want to want to do is take this pin pry that up get my hands out of the way so you can see it pull it out put it in a spot you'll never forget with the washer all right now this guy just pushes right on out like that get that out of the way and then next what you're gonna do is take a 9 16 wrench put that on the bolt behind there take a quarter inch allen wrench with an impact on both those are the two nuts that were behind get this off Take these bolts out, these, put those aside, and there is your caliper. Um, and if you need to, that you shouldn't need to, but that uh, rotor comes off. All right, let's do a comparison. So here we go. We got the new one on the right and the old one on the left. There's really not too much of a difference in size comparison to the pads, but it's just enough to where it still slides back in the uh, trailer, but there's a new one, and there's the old one. Okay, next step, take your new part, set it on the rotor, take your, pin, your uh, bolt there, put that through. Make sure you get it started with your finger first. Uh, again, 9 16 wrench on the back side, quarter inch Allen. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is bring that forward through the hole there, put your washer back on, and then take your pin. Lift up on the pin to get it over like that. And there you go. All right, well, that's it. Uh, I hope this video answered any questions you may have. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, give it a share. Um, that's how we can continue to keep making videos like this. Thank you, guys.